even if you want to beg, bitch, get a diary. Write that shit down. Write the words that you would beg to him. Don't yeah. be typing that shit over text. Don't embarrass yourself. When she says something is done, it's, it's done. done. I left my yard filled in fifties, then I remember my back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and we're doing girl talk once again. Back with Pia. Did you get back with your ex? <laughs> Should you be friends with your ex? Um, um no. Yeah, no. I, I don't think ex and being friends could be in the same sentence. Yeah. I feel like once the relationship is done, it's done. It's like done. Like I don't think you need to be in contact with them. Mm -hmm. Like you can be friendly. Like say you, you see them, you can say hi. But like over the night, you shouldn't have anything else yeah, more to say to them. I think it's awkward if you're in the same friendship group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like there's nothing more to talk about yeah i don't think you should be friends with your ex unless you were like unless you guys were like friends before mm, mm, that's thought... the thing that's the thing with the friendship group. no i don't think you should be friends with your ex unless let's say you broke up didn't see each other for like three years and then became friends mm. then i think that's okay but to jump straight mm -hmm. from exes yeah. to friends mm -hmm. I, like I right after so. the breakup yeah i don't think so and like boundaries i think that like you and can't be that person for them anymore mm -hmm. so why like do you know what i mean i think friendship is off the table with that too and i feel like most of the times when you do like stay friends with them and stuff i feel like what happens most of the time is that you guys like start doing like sneaky things like you be like texting you like i i miss you do you want to come over like there's still that bit of romantic like tension there that's not gonna go away you don't need your ex as your friend and plus if he's only if he still wants to talk to you it's because he wants to fuck with you i mean fuck with you <laughs> he, wants yeah, to, he wants to fuck you yeah i think it's just manipulation mm -hmm. after and the that. fact that he knows he can still like keep you on the like on the side as well and the fact that you're gonna keep going back to him as well like yeah it's kind of like brings up his ego and stuff that like you're still there even though you've like I mean, whoever initiated the breakup but most of the time it's mainly the girl so also the fact that <laughs> but that you've initiated the breakup but like you still want to be friendly with him you still want to talk to him on yeah. the low and stuff so that kind of boosts his ego like this girl's so fucking dumb like she broke up with me but like she can't seem to let go of me and stuff you know True. what i mean that's what yeah, they're yeah. gonna be thinking how would you navigate like after a break like what's the things that you would do no contact no contact straight up no i contact. i agree straight up no contact i think like i would keep the number but mm. i would remove everything else mm -hmm. because he does not need to see my face i do not need to see his mm -hmm. face mm -hmm. and it's like if we need something at least the number's there and i don't only ever use it for emergencies like if he's mm -hmm. gonna message me late at night i'm not gonna respond exactly that's just so dumb. like what about like, what? have some willpower please <laughs> like have some respect for you what would you do about like pictures on your phone like would you keep them yeah but i'm a, I'm a picture freak you know um, i keep everything mm -hmm. like personally like, i would delete the pictures like I, I deleted like talking stage pictures and even that was hard for me because Aww. not even because I like <laughs> like it was them but just because like I'm a person of like memory yeah like I don't ever want to forget something so I mm. always keep it what I would do yeah. as soon as I break up with them oh wow this one is bright I or <laughs> I put it in at a separate I would put it in like the hidden album like what it look <laughs> was like it a hidden album bitch yeah I did not know that yeah look what I would do is I'd block them on everything. I'm so sorry. Okay, if, if not block, yeah. remove yeah, them. Hidden, see. I don't know if it was a hidden thing. I'd remove them from everything. I wouldn't want them I wouldn't want a reminder of them at all. Okay, obviously you've been in your life and stuff, but if you're gonna try, be trying to get over the breakup, I don't think you have to see a constant reminder of them, seeing them st their stories, yeah. seeing their Instagram feeds and stuff, it's it's just pointless. Okay, wait, this is what I go on to then. Would you remove your ex's friends off social media too because mm, that's petty so you wouldn't you no but also but you then it's also like that's with me it's like before i always said their friends are their friends mm -hmm. like i became their friend at the end of the day it's their friends are you gonna keep them or remove them the thing is i, know what I'm doing. I don't think i would even follow over his friends to begin with they follow me that's the thing oh so if, 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 they, if they follow you i would remove yeah okay they will see it as petty but i would just remove them because i'm not gonna ever speak to you ever i'm never gonna see you yeah but and also it's like but do you expect your friends to remove your ex because the majority of my friends have hit him on everything have his number and all that 
I would expect them to do the same thing because what the fuck? Do you want to fuck them next or something? Like, yeah. why have you got their things? This, because in I know what they're gonna be like. They're like, yeah, but we're friends now too. Uh. That's the thing. In my head, the only reason why I would keep my friend's ex on Instagram is because they've asked me to and they want to keep stalking them. <laughs> that is the only time. Uh -huh. But if they didn't have that, I would remove them straight away. I'd be yeah. like, well, I'm removing them too. But I know my friends, I know certain friends would not remove him because mm -hmm. they, they'll claim it as, but he was my friend too. Like if we ended civil, completely understand, mm -hmm. then like that's fine with me. But if I ask you to remove and you don't remove, then that's something else. I suppose it's different if like you guys were friends before. Like if they were friends with him before mm -hmm. I was friends, before we got together. Fine, mm -hmm. fair enough. Exactly, that's fair. Or like they knew both of us at the same time before mm -hmm. we got together. Fine, fair enough. But after, if, yeah. But if you only knew him because of through me, mm -hmm. remove. Mm -hmm. Which in a sense, toxic. I would but no, who gives a fuck? That means I should remove mm -hmm. their friends too then, because it's the exact same. Yeah, agree. But yeah, I would. I would too. I would remove. I would remove. Like the only ones that I wouldn't remove are like not even like the. Like I'd remove his close friends, but yeah. like acquaintance friends, where it's like oh, I yeah. met them once. Mm -hmm. I can keep because it's not a lot deep, but mm -hmm. like his close friends, like besties. Close yeah, friends. because I no no. They're gonna be stalking. They're gonna be talk. telling. Uh -huh. I saw and, with the next man some shit. Yeah, like, that. like even though boys don't gossip like that, but like if they, they see would. something, they're gonna say something like low key. They're gonna be like, oh, mm -hmm. she doing this, <laughs> or she doing that, and then it's like, oh, she wilded now, like. So, personally, yeah, I'd remove the close ones. Me too. But then, it mm, depends how close because, hypothetically, obviously I'm with my boyfriend now, but mm. one of my best friends is dating his uh, best friend. So there's, we're, we're like a four basically, and let's say we break up, do I remove his best friend? But that's also one of my best friend's boyfriends. Oh, so shit. that one would be confusing. That would be I'd different. Probably, yeah, I think I'd probably keep keep him. That one until unless the two of them break up. But yeah, if no, not, yeah. just keep him. Yeah. Other than that, I think everyone else I'd keep. You could keep him or, or I, make him h hide him from your story. Like he'll never know. True, true, true. That's the thing. That I've, if I do end up keeping like friends, this is only hypothetical if it was the relationship I'm in now. Yeah. But, but it's different for every relationship. I feel mm -hmm. like. But this one, I. Like, I don't know, if we ever were to break up, I think, I don't think it'd be anything bad. I think yeah. it'd be quite a civil breakup. So I think I'd remove him just to, for like healing process for both of us. Mm -hmm. But like keeping his friends is not as deep, I think. Yeah, agreed. Because we're on the level of like, it's not that bad. Also, how long do you think like no contact should last? <sighs> Until you've healed. I, think I don't no think there's a certain like, time frame yeah but i think as soon as you break up it's straight up no contact yeah straight away as soon as he says the words you say the words it's over as soon as you get home it's no contact no contact unless you see them but that's different don't be fucking reaching out to them like a little bitch like don't be a beg there's nothing to talk about when she says something is done it's, it's done. done like like why are you like being in some type of mm -hmm. romance film some right. toxic ass exactly like you're you're like you're creating a toxic environment mm -hmm. for yourself like mm -hmm. on your own like i mean you don't even like even like yourself at that point like because you, if you're yeah. telling yourself it's done it's done you don't need to go back or say anything like you said the words if you like you said the words and you should have the confidence in yourself to know when it's, it's done, done like, and if if they said it's done don't beg for it exactly. because oh. if, if they don't want you that's even worse yeah that's even worse if they don't want you don't be don't be claiming it because it's kind of like and even if you want to beg, bitch, get a diary, write that shit down, write the words that you would beg to him. Don't no. be typing that shit over text. Don't embarrass yourself. Mind you, everyone's different, but this is just for us. We're just <laughs> saying it for us, not not for anyone else. Everyone text it to your friends, yeah. text it to someone, and just don't do it to him, okay? And yeah. it's gonna be looking at it like, oh guys, look at this. She's such a bag. Like I broke up with her. She can't leave me alone. Like come on, no, get a diary, go see someone talk to your friends like you don't need to be yeah, don't him. chase don't chase you attract yeah we don't attract him true 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 oh no i'd be so embarrassed <laughs> bro that, that no nah, you shouldn't be embarrassed no like, but i mean like is, begging i know but you shouldn't like if you do do it like 
don't be embarrassed yeah. you shouldn't do it like it's okay if you do it mm -hmm. but like as long as you realize it's wrong yeah after the mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. but i don't know i feel like we're just hardcore like we're not lover girls i feel yeah, like yeah we're not we're lover, lover girls. girls we like love but we're not gonna die for it but like, like i said lover girls are psycho like mm -hmm. I, i'm claiming that shit now love if you claim that you're a lover love, girl mm -hmm, you're, you're psycho, psycho mm -hmm. because you you want love so bad you'll do anything yeah and you think you, you, you like when you love someone and you're a lover girl you you think that one person is it mm -hmm. but then i'm like then the next one you think they're it too and i'm like come on no. now <laughs> come on now let's be realistic exactly. which one is it mm -hmm. oh mind you this is my biggest freaking pet peeve when people are like the love of my life and then they break up and they move on sex and i'm like the oh. love of my life don't say those words you don't know what love is like like just like, just hold it down a second and just wait yeah like i know like everyone has multiple relationships mm -hmm. to find the one but don't claim me they're the love of your life like in that moment you might think it but come on just when say everyone's like <laughs> when you know what you know when, when you, you know, know. <laughs> but then, like, that's, i'm sorry then why didn't you know like a few years ago do you know what i want and then they'll be like yeah but i thought that in the moment then obviously you didn't know they were the one then did you, did you, you, don't, don't, you don't know you don't know don't say things you don't mean and if like, you do mean it, don't be saying it again. Yeah, yeah literally. Like, like, like how, I'm sorry, how can you call... Yeah, I just don't get that. Like, this girl on my Instagram, she... Not hating, but I'm hating. She, <laughs> she went out with this guy and she posted him so much. She's like, love my life, broke up. Don't hear nothing for like a couple months. Mm -hmm. New guy pops, pops up along. Claims the love of my life again and I'm like... Stays, mm. Statements like that are so tacky. It's yeah, like I have I'm never called my current boyfriend the love of my life because I'm like mm -hmm. I haven't lived enough life. Yeah, exactly. To call him the love of my life, right. and it's kind of like it's a bit unrealistic. Once I like the only way I ca I'm calling someone the love of my life, marriage. Is, yeah, marriage because I know yeah. it's sealed, done, deal. Mm. But like, if you're just gonna go throwing that word everywhere, it doesn't mean anything. Like, yeah, it doesn't do mean you know, anything. Do you don't know what the word means, like of your life. Yeah, lifetime. Like, and then the more you use it, the more it doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it just becomes insignificant after a while. Exactly. Like those were like it's like when someone says sorry so many times uh -huh. that sorry doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah, it's literally. literally the exact same thing. You call someone love mm -hmm. your life as much as you want. Like no. well, what about people who say my world? Oh fuck that shit. <laughs> your world just broke up with you, then what? <laughs> I'm like what? What about someone says my like what about soulmate? That's oh, kind no, of I similar, hate, but like I hate that shit. But people actually believe you can have multiple soulmates. Do you believe that, or do you feel like you're gonna got one true soulmate? I don't think I don't believe in soulmates for love. I believe really? in soulmates for friends. Aww, I yeah. Like soulmate. Why are you pointing? What did you say? I didn't hear what you said. You're my soulmate. I said I'm yeah. your soulmate. Yeah. <laughs> I think no, de genuinely, yeah. Aww. Because we're so like so we, like. We're so alike and we've been connected for so long mm -hmm. to the point of like where we went for a lot ages like not speaking. Mm -hmm. But then, but then when we went back, it felt like nothing changed. Yeah, and not even that. Like it's the fact that we came back anyways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's so hard to do sometimes. Yeah. So I I do believe yeah, definitely one of my soulmates. Yeah, I but, feel like we do, but I feel like we do have romantic soulmates though. I feel like we can have multiple soulmates. Yeah, but I don't the, think there's just like one true person for everyone. I don't. The thing is though. I think like with soulmates, like I don't, I don't think I do believe in soulmates really? as much because yeah. it's like you will think that person is your soulmate, but they might not think you're yeah. theirs. So I don't think that's like the only way I believe in it is if both equally believe it. Uh -huh. Like if one, if it's one way, they're not your soulmate really? because I feel like it has to be. Two yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think soulmate is like one string i mm. think it's two uh -huh. so like like that's how i envision it like if someone was staying in front of me and it was just one yeah line, oh, i don't think my soulmate oh, I get what you mean. it needs to be two mm -hmm. because like if if you view them as their, your your soulmate and they don't view you that's that, that, it's not it's not your soulmate then Literally, because, yeah because it's like you could think of them as your soulmate and mm -hmm. they cheat on you Literally. that's not your soulmate like I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I get what you like mean. That, right? But it's, it's a cute concept. But would you call someone your soulmate? No, not to their face. Yeah, I think I believe, I, but I don't think I'd I be would, like, yeah. I'd like keep it to myself. But I feel like you'd have multiple experiences of having relationships to find your, your soulmate. 
I don't yeah, I don't know about yeah. I don't know about something. Not not like the first words. person you meet is not gonna be your soulmate straight away. I'm so sorry. Yeah, obviously there is the one off time that they are, but mm, that that never happens. Is that your dad? No. This is what I mean. I'm not a lover girl because look like I hate the like, thing is it's so I'm so opposite because in books and shit I love hardcore love but in yeah, real but life yeah books are not the same yeah. in real life real like life, it actually hurts so much yeah like, real life I can't do that mm -hmm. lovey shit and in books I feel like it's cringe like saying those type of shit things in person it doesn't hit the same as when you're reading it like yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry agreed 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 unless that that boy comes walking out of that book then fine I'll mm -hmm. take it all but if it's not if it's not the same then mm -hmm. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. And it's also kind of the thing of like, like I'm sorry, I just don't get how people are always like, like you're so young, and like you have so much life to live. Like yeah. I'm not saying that. Like, as well, I don't get the people who settle down with like their high school sweetheart, like from when they were 16. Yeah, like, that, like that's the dream. Like when you when you're young, you're that's all you ever want. Yeah, like it, mm -hmm, it sounds we, so good. Like yeah, we both thought, oh yeah, our first boyfriend is the boyfriend we're gonna marry. Well, I've only. Ha had my first boyfriend now mm -hmm. you haven't had yours yet mm -hmm. but like your first boyfriend could be the one you marry when you're like i wouldn't want that exactly yeah can't lie i know what you mean not saying that i have to be a hoe and explore my options but you don't know everyone in the world not saying you have to get with everyone in the world but yeah. like i feel like it's just better that way it'd be like it's okay if you like break up and like you, yeah. you get enough relationships and you go back to him okay that's that sounds kind of cute and yeah. stuff and it's kind of just sad that mm -hmm. like the end goal for everyone is to get married mm -hmm. and like have that one person and i'm just like exactly that's the end goal why am i doing that goal now exactly we are so young like we hardly have like done everything and everyone's always like oh i can't wait to marry this person can't wait to have kids but i'm like mm -hmm. There's so much more I want to do in my mm -hmm. life before I do that, and exactly. they're like, "But don't you want to do that together?" And I'm like, "No, no, because, you can do it by yourself." Because the thing is, I'm like, you only get one life. Mm -hmm. You only get one life. Like, it's not like of a sense of like, yeah, I can get married, have children with mm -hmm. him now, and then like, mm -hmm. I can have another life and do that. No, no, no. You only get one life. So I'm like, I'm not saying it's a waste if you do that. Yeah, like, man, it's your decision at the end of the day. Yeah, but, but like. I just would rather not because I just like know mm -hmm. I'm big on regret and I don't want to regret anything. And plus, you literally came into this world by yourself, unless you're a twin. So, like, you should experience things by yourself. Exactly. And it's also like, I don't want to have to rely on someone for, like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know those girls that get out of a relationship and, like, I don't know what to do with exactly. myself. Exactly. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? That's not normal. Right? Like, like I get it. You're focusing on one person. Mm -hmm. but but like we're so young like do you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i can focus on that one person when i'm like 30 yeah 40. like but yeah but deep it you're like major like the way that like your life works you spend most of your life with someone then without mm -hmm. like that shit is crazy to me like yeah like i'm not ready for to be living with someone yeah and having all their habits and stuff and i mean i've kind of experienced it in a sense but like I it's would, not going to be the same like yeah, full time yeah, yeah. every day yeah no i like for the rest space. of your life yeah no 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 we're st i think we've got commitment issues though yeah I feel, like I feel like i've got commitment issues not commitment as in staying loyal but, commitment, same moment, but like commitment as in like giving them everything person, everyone, yeah that type of commitment like commitment for being loyal mm -hmm. i'm i'm there like mm -hmm. i will be as loyal <laughs> yeah but like commitment as in like claiming that one person forever like if you fuck up i'm gonna break up with you and i, and I don't care exactly like, like i would care but like i think i'm okay being by myself like i'm actually just used to it exactly no I'm it's, it's hard it's very hard and then like i just i just don't understand people like like how, like i don't want i feel sad for people who well you can go first like that have no life other than the mm, that's what i yeah? to say as well like like you know, uh, you know this who, one girl yeah yeah from dance moms <laughs> yeah. oh 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 she's every time she breaks up with someone she's with someone new like no i can't do that no like she, that's what i mean don't claim and but but don't claim them as your love of your life mm -hmm. then you're not looking to like you're not looking to like like how many people can you love you exactly I mean? like how it, much love in your heart do you have like and then like they're the ones that are always like mm -hmm. wishing for like that one person mm -hmm. but i'm like but you're jumping too soon to ever know exactly like who the right person is mm -hmm. and then and then it's like do you like 
I just can't. Like, I don't want to have to rely on someone else for my happiness. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah, you have to be able to do that by yourself without someone. Mm -hmm. And like, Cause say that person goes to work, is working a full time job, and you stay at home or whatever. Yeah. What the fuck are you gonna be doing at home? You're gonna be sat at home just laying down, waiting for him to get back home. Like, you got your own life. People will like, ex like. They'll, they won't even experience living by themselves like they'll live in their parents house mm -hmm. and then as soon as they end a relationship they'll move in with that person mm -hmm. you don't even get to experience moving in with your friends before you even mm -hmm. move in with that person exactly like, i want to experience moving in with my friends like, like your, your friends yourself and yeah like i'm a brother partner yeah like I used to do that. what living with your friends no partner oh yeah i'm not ready for that now though because i want to know what my bad habits are the majority of the people we know are like finding the one they yeah. claim is the one by like 20 and they're, and they're married and stuff exactly and like let's say you you claim you find the one at 20 yeah mm -hmm. that means the rest of your life is just it's gonna be with that person Ew. which means you've only spent 20 years of your life by yourself and not even fully by yourself because mm -hmm. you had Should've... your parents and shit and you didn't let's say you didn't date till you were like mm -hmm. what 18 like, yeah because that's when the real relationships yeah. really start 18 which means technically you only and then you met them at 20 technically you only had two years of doing any, everything yourself mm -hmm. that's not even that long because deep it you're you're only that age like for but, a year mm -hmm. like that's, deep it you're only so, that age so for crazy. a year and then you claim you found the one so in your head like do you know what i mean that's just crazy mm -hmm. i mean obviously some people think differently but i just think i feel like when you're going to be like 40 years old you're going to look back at maybe even older than that you're gonna just look back at things you're gonna be like why was i rushing into doing those type yeah. of things i'm thinking in that way i feel like we were all like brought up to believe that like like you meant to find someone like straight away and then you're meant to be with them forever straight away mm -hmm. no that's not no, that's, that's not normal like well it is kind of normal because that's <laughs> what i'm doing but i think if anything we're the we're not the normal ones because everyone was everyone always has a go at me because i'm always like in the relationship I'm in because mm -hmm. we're so young I don't see marriage yet because we're so young exactly. I'm not at the stage mm -hmm. of, of like settling down and everyone's like so you're not dating to marry you're dating today I'm like no oh ah, yeah I would have been like yeah I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I would have been like, like yeah the, a, the no. fuck in a way yeah I am I am dating to date mm -hmm. but dating like to the point of where I think there could be marriage like do you know what I mean mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's off the table but I'm not at that stage of thinking of it yet like mm -hmm. my brain is not there yet like mm -hmm. when i reach that stage where i'm like i'm comfortable and let's say we're still together yeah then i'm gonna be like oh i see a future with him but because yeah. we're so young i don't know what he's i don't know what he's gonna be like in like three years exactly time. so like people change exactly so like i don't see it yet because the person i envision to marry now might not be the person i'm mm -hmm. marrying like a couple years time and you might change yourself as well exactly so therefore i'm not thinking about it because i don't need to think about it do you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i really don't need i don't even have a job yet i just finished uni mm -hmm. i don't need to think about that right now exactly I really that, don't like, need to, you like, actually do as long as i'm happy in my relationship i don't need to think about marriage mm -hmm. and everyone's always hating at me being like blah, blah 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 but then this is what i told beatrice i was like if they're all saying that to me and they're in relationships i'm like so why aren't you engaged already exactly and they're like yeah because we're not we're not, not ready. At, we're not ready we're not at that we're not at that stage yet like we're not we're not there in life and i'm like yeah but you claim they're the one and you see yourself getting married to each other right mm -hmm. and they'll be like yeah so why aren't you engaged engaged is just a symbol of that you're closed off and you're ready for marriage so why why aren't you engaged right now and then they'll they'll be like yeah but we don't have the money yet and i'm like yeah, yeah but engage the engagement is just a symbol they could propose to you right now and get a your rock. stupid ring yeah but it's the symbol of knowing that you're gonna get married <laughs> exactly. why aren't you engaged right now then exactly. and then get an get a new ring later on why are you not engaged right now exactly. if you see yourself with that person forever and you mm -hmm. see yourself getting married to that person why have neither of you spoken about getting engaged already mm -hmm. please tell me that now everyone hating on me everyone <laughs> tell me that now why why aren't you engaged right now because we don't have the money because we don't have this but yeah but like i said it's just a symbol of knowing that you're fully closed off that mm -hmm. you don't want anyone else that you are ready exactly. for the next step that's what you guys are saying exactly exactly next person that brings up to that is what i'm saying to them because i'm <laughs> deeming it so much and i was like no literally why didn't i tell them this before because like what and then they'll be like yeah but blah blah blah, blah but i still see our future with them so so get engaged so exactly. get engaged. make that future a reality like <laughs> get engaged then like i'm sorry but what because at the end of the day i'm sorry like if you break up i'm just gonna say i fucking told you so <laughs> and you want it and you want to get married to that person mm, 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 mm. <laughs> what sorry what 
and then like yeah and i'm not like exceeding expectations like i tell them like i'm not like i don't see marriage yet like i'm not leading them on like if you see yourself marrying me and i'm telling you i don't see myself marrying you yet well you're the biggest idiot anyway <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking but yeah like, but i'm definitely dating to just day because i think the only point i'm gonna be thinking about marriage is when i'm like 25 at least really I'm or when i get a job yeah i'm just gonna say that or when i move sense. out like that's when i'm gonna be thinking about it not right now i don't yeah. care yeah exactly I completely agree completely agree and plus it's like like relationships take so much effort and then like deeper how marriage will be like marriage is not the same as like a relationship mm -hmm. and if you add kids into the mix it's gonna be even yeah worse. like i do want kids i do want to get married but like i'm not thinking about it right now mm -hmm. like, do you know what i mean and the thing is it like i don't know it just changes for every person mm -hmm. like i just can't it's just not true in a year you might not even be thinking those same things that you were thinking last mm -hmm. year exactly which is why i don't and plus i don't like to think about marriage and stuff because if we do break up then i'll, I'll, I'll You'll like, be sad. Yeah. exactly I've, I've everything i've imagined is completely like it's crumbled. exactly i don't want that mm. like no i'd rather like think of the worst and get the best rather than <laughs> think of the best and get the worst yeah but yeah true. pray see but thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it that was 30 minutes it felt like an hour <laughs> really did you not think no i can't i can't look at the time i feel like we spoke for ages we did 30 minutes was long but that's nuts bro